Hello, sir. We shall now discuss the compounds which have got two chiral carbon. Uh, such molecules are represented like this. Now, there could be many questions based on such a structure. Question could be, you will be given two structure, you will be asked to find out whether they are identical, whether they are inertial, whether they are diastereomer. Uh, the answer of all the questions could be done, provided you are in such a position where you can easily convert three-dimensional structure into two-dimensional structure. You can easily convert the conformer into a structure and the basic of all the structure lies on the fact that you can draw Fischer projection of only eclipse form. Eclipse form is drawn in Fischer projection. It means that first this structure has to be clearly visualized. After visualizing you have to convert into eclipse which is fairly easy. Very soon you will find that you are able to do it in a very uh, quick manner. Uh, let me first explain because this is the first discussion how to visualize this structure. Uh, let me explain with the help of this model. Whenever we draw three-dimensional object, the solid line is towards the viewer, the dashed line is away from the viewer, this is away from the viewer, this is towards the viewer. Similarly, it is towards the viewer. This is away from the viewer, and this single line, this single line, this line is in the plane. Okay, I uh, take this model to explain this basic answer. CS3. Carbon, carbon, CS3 is in the plane. Uh, let us say this OH is blue in this model. OH is blue. CL is white and CS3 is red. You might take a few moments to visualize this. Now, this is CS3, carbon, carbon, CS3. This is in one plane. The plane, this is the plane in which they are lying. Since they are in one plane, that's why they have been written as single line. Now, see here at this carbon, this is the carbon. The group which is towards the viewer is this group. This is OH. The group which is away from the viewer is chlorine. Chlorine is white here. Similarly, at this carbon, chlorine is towards the viewer. And OH is away from the viewer. Now, how to draw this as two dimensional Fischer projection? Fairly simple. What you have got to do? You have to rotate this molecule. You have to convert into eclipse form and after converting this into eclipse form, you can draw the Fischer projection. This is eclipse form. Now these two bonds will be vertical bond. These are vertical 
left side you have white white right side you have blue blue and this is again i repeat this is the model we have got here when you convert into eclipse form this is eclipse form on the top cs3 will come on the left you will have oh now i would like to simplify the thing because uh, for the beginner it would be quite difficult let me simplify the thing what how to do let us write this as carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 just focus on carbon number 1 i write this structure as this is i am going to write carbon number 1 at this point we are going to write carbon number 2 at carbon number 1 there are three group attached one is cs3 cs3 just focus on carbon number 1 here at this carbon this is oh coming towards the viewer this is cl and this is cs3 at the down side we have cs3 and just give two position like this this is certainly oh away from the viewer see at carbon number 1 we are here at carbon number 2 carbon number 2 has this structure okay carbon c3 is here and there are two group here one is towards viewer away from it towards viewer which group is towards viewer it is cl and this is oh is it clear or not i repeat once again i draw once again so that you should be clear in the beginning i am very slow because those who are trying to learn at first time they might find it difficult but this time you will be certainly clear i have carbon number 1 carbon number 2 add carbon number 1 cs3 is down if that draw two angle at 120 like this this is cs3 now tell me which group is towards you this is towards you this is oh here which is away from you this is cl this is cl similarly cs3 here in the plane dot true group at one point to each other now this is away from the viewer oh this is towards the viewer we have here staggered form now we can easily convert into eclipse form we can rotate by 180 keep the first molecule as cover as it is now second cover we are going to rotate like this so that it will become eclipse form if you rotate by 180 this cover cs3 will come here everything oh will come this side and cs3 will go this side I beg your pardon. Uh, I have written something wrong here. CS3 is at the top. Uh, towards where is chlorine here? Now, when you convert this into a body, CS3 will come to this side, bottom. CL will go to this side, and OH left side converting it by one body, it will come to this side. This is eclipse form. Now, while drawing two-dimensional figure, what is done? It is assumed that you have drawn into eclipse form. This is eclipse form. These two group will go to vertical. These two group. This CS3, CS3. See, this is carbon number one. Again, I draw here. Carbon number one and carbon number two. At carbon number left side we have CL. Left side CL. Right side we have OH, OH, and this is CS3. At carbon number two, left side we have CL, CL. Right side we have OH and this is CS3. It means that in eclipse form, the group which is at the bottom here, they will be at the top and bottom. At common number, which is group, the group which is at right side will be this side. The group which is at right side will be this side. At common number two, chlorine is left side here. This is the form. Now you can easily draw the conclusion whether it is. meso compound or something else you will find that this is an example of meso compound this is the rule 
to draw three dimensional object into two dimensions. That's all. Thank you.